Welcome to Redeeming Thunder. My name is Erica. Today is November 4th. And the Lord wanted me to share um, a pattern here that I've noticed. Examples of um, when you are called and or when you are chosen. Because of the constant um, word in Hebrew that he's been giving me, maka, which means um, ministry, expanding pegs, a constant um, word given. I'm starting to understand that it's, it's not only being called, but it's being sent. The Lord has a collection of people that he has Mommy. chosen that are sent. And there is something that happened to me um, a little under 20 years ago. So there is two stories that I'm going to share on different videos. And this has to do with um, I had a dream. I had a dream of um, of a youth group going to going to a conference, a weekend conference, and there was a particular person, and she was um, at, in the middle of the prayer where we were all praying in that particular room. She began to manifest these demons. And in that dream, it was very horrifying because um, all the demons that were were in her as she was getting delivered, they were jumping into other people who weren't praying. And um, I then needed to, uh, I told my sister that dream, okay? And then I we went to the conference. There really wasn't a real conference that we were going to go to shortly after, probably days later. And um, he gave it at me that that like a week prior. And I started realizing when we started in praying in that group that the room looked very familiar, and it was the same room in the dream. And the girl, the girl that was possessed, I could see her from across the room. And she was wearing the same shirt as well, in the, from the dream to real life. And it was like, um, almost like a deja vu, but in real life, though. Dream compared to real life. And later on, that the next day, after we had dinner, then we did, we were worshiping the Lord and we were all in a group praying and the demons started to manifest. And a lot of people were shocked that she was, um, it was manifesting quite wildly and it was startling a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of youth group, a lot of people in the youth group. And it was talking back as well. And I'm not going to be taking a lot of time of what was all going on with the demon. Because we're not going to find the demon. I'm explaining to you that exactly what happened. In the dream that I had. A week prior. Is what. Happened. In real life. And this is the other thing. Those. Some of the people. I mean because it was going on for hours. Okay so some of these. Youth. Members were going back to their. To their um, bunks. To their cabins. And they were going to sleep and I was trying to tell them we cannot we cannot just go to sleep because the situation is very sensitive and these demons that are going to be coming out of her are are um going to be jumping into people and um so as we were praying for her um I was closing my eyes and praying in the spirit. Now I was telling, trying to tell people, but of course it was coming out and praying in, in, in the spirit. So then they couldn't really understand me. And I was just like, oh my goodness, please, Lord, help me pray, speak in English. 
right now so that I can tell them but I was saying in desperation but my sister somehow knew what I was saying and she was saying that I was saying you everybody needs to pray everybody needs to pray and not be observing when you know demons are getting a cast out of someone that sh and so I was praying for her in in um from a distance and just stretching out my hands and I recall with my eyes closed and I mean we were it was a struggle you know it was a struggle to get it out um I was calling the pastor asking him to can you please come over here I was calling my mom nobody was answering the phone of course you know we were we were many miles away so this was all going into two in the morning and I recall standing you know on the side you know, because back in the day, I kind of felt like pastors are the ones that I can deliver people from demons. I didn't know that anybody, anybody can deliver demons out of people. Okay. Which I'm learning that God has called us to set the captives free. So um, besides that, in my childhood, I've had several dreams of people being possessed. And I was praying in, in, my, in my dreams, even as a child. For these demons to come out of people and they finally would right and so um during that time frame i probably was 19 years old when that was happening and um that same day um i opened my eyes as i'm done i'm, I'm praying and praying really hard and stretching my hands out and i opened my eyes and the youth pastor the, the special speaker looked at me and the thing is she started vomiting and there was some breakthrough and he started motioning his hands like keep praying keep praying because the demons are coming out of her and so um i remember um um looking over where my sister was at and she's on the floor on her hands and knees and she looks up at me and she's screaming help me help me and i'm thinking oh great you know they jumped into her so then i'm praying for her and she she gets delivered from what's going on with her she says there was this kind of when after i spoke to her she said there was some kind of this oppression that was on her like it was like trying to enter and then that morning of other like oh we kept we went upstairs and we were praying for other people because they were then possessed and we were you know the pastor the pastor's wife me and then the other um youth leaders were uh, boys were in their their cabins and they were praying for them over there so no one got to sleep all night and in the morning, I could tell that she was still possessed. The original girl was still possessed. And the story behind it was she did the Ouija board. That's why it's very, very dangerous to do that. Um, um, digging into necromancy, divination, that's very dangerous. Um, speaking to the dead, it causes people to get possessed. Okay, so besides that though, in the morning I learned that some of the people that were trying to sleep, they felt something jump on top of them that was invisible. So exactly what my dream was, that warning was right now. I'm not right now. Was 20 years, about 20 years ago um, or so, a little bit less than 20 years ago, that exact thing happened in real life. So I'm so thankful for the warning that the Lord gave, but that was actually my absolute first ever prompting first ever prophetic vision or dream that I ever had. Um, and it was very, very um, alarming. Uh, and um, since then, going forward more years, I kept having dreams of having to cast demons out of certain people in my dreams. And, you know, when it occurs at church, you, you pray for the people, um, and so what I'm saying with this is, or what I think the Lord is trying to say is that when the Lord 
calls you, when the Lord, sometimes the Lord chooses you and he sends you, he sends you, he, you are sent. The other, the other prophetic word he's been giving me is so the word Moshi. And that has to do with Moses, Moses being drawn out of the water. That's what his name means. But it also signifies someone that's being sent, sent to the nations, sent to the neighborhood, sent to, sent to the, to the churches to set the captives free. Okay. And there, there, when you are then called or sent, things happen. There is something supernatural that happens in your life. It's, um, an angelic, an angelic, um, visitation, something very phenomenal that happened. And I, to, if you want, um, to check into the next video that I'm going to state my first angelic encounter around a very young age, probably around 17 years old, um, that I'm going to share, but regarding Regarding this warning that the Lord has given, he has, now we're in real time. Now we're in present lifetime. He has given me a warning, many warnings. And he says it usually in the subconscious days when I'm studying or something and, it's, or, and I suddenly I'm falling into a sleep and he whispers or even in my dream, he'll whisper and whisper. And recently he whispered, these warnings one of them was a knock on the door i actually heard a knock and i and then what i do is you know go in the secret place and i research what that ha what the has what the knocking has to do with is it for me or this word for for everyone um and i'll dig deeper on that on another video but um the other thing but this warning that i want to say that was in present time within days is um an alert and so what we had to do was take action and um keep keep the individual safe from harm and then goes you know what happened the next that, that same morning but hours later was confirmed that that child was going to be in danger and so when we took action immediately that was the exact thing that we were supposed to do is protect the child so I am so thankful and that has happened several times so, so I have not been on YouTube in a while because to tell you the truth a lot of prophetic word has been coming to pass and I have been in the secret place place a, a lot of the time and um the lord keeps telling me to that i need to start stating what all his prophetic word has been what stories are coming to pass what what um pivotal wonderful um breakthroughs are happening and i'm going to be sharing that in the next few videos because um he wants you to know that when he makes his promises he keeps them and he sees them we see them come to pass thank you jesus thank you holy spirit for giving us this confirmation um protecting our children protecting um your children and i'll see you in the next video